Leslie Olabisi here with Let's See with Leslie Olabisi. That's me. So basically this show is um, my feedback on my ratings on the different films, series, uh, podcasts, any type of multimedia content that's out that people are talking about. I'm going to give you my rating and my little two cents that you didn't ask for, but you're going to get anyway. All right. So. Lovecraft Country. Now that's written and directed by Misha Green and it is based on the novel by Matt Ruff. It follows, as it states, Atticus Freeman as he is joined by his friend Letitia and Uncle George to embark on a road trip across 1950s Jim Crow America in search of his missing father. Sour Patch Kids and Cherry Cola Worthy. Now, I really enjoyed this series. It was a good combination of fantasy, uh, mystery, history, a little bit of comic relief, and some serious um, historical references and realities of what it was like living in the Jim Crow with references to the Green Book for... Um, people um, for black people traveling across the south so that they can have safe places and the safest routes to stay. Um, it dives into um, uh, occult sciences and um, spells and rituals and um, the way information and traditions get passed from generation to generation. So Lovecraft Country was very entertaining. Now it's on HBO, so you know there has to be sex. It does have some very gory, gooey, sexual, rough, intense moments. But all in all, I enjoy the show. And it's not just because it's written by Misha Green, who is also going to be writing Cleopatra Jones' reboot, which I went to lead. Thank you. You'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, it's very entertaining. It's different. It's interesting. And it's very well done. And it's believable. All of it. So, that's my two cents on that. Moving on to This Is Us on NBC. Now, this is something that, of course, you don't actually have to have a cable subscription to see. Now, TV Guide says, The Pearsons are back to chip away at your soul. Now, I watched the first two seasons of the series and I did enjoy it. It was different the way they kept going back and forth in between the parents and the kids uh, from the maybe 60s, 70s to present day and telling the story and breaking down how the relationships unfold and the different character traits and how uh, some things that you have as a childhood develop uh, um, some things that you have as a child develop into greater issues or greater strengths as an adult etc etc now after the second season I kind of faded out and was doing other things and so when the season premiere came uh, this year I said you know what Leslie come on let's do this and of course it had a two hour premiere two hours two hours thank god that i looked at the uh session recap from the last season with what was this big fight because i'm watching this series and i'm looking like why is everybody so tense and tight and just boring it was boring and then to throw the mask in there on top of it, it's just like, why am I watching this? It's depressing. So, you know, I started multitasking, which then turned into me just doing something different altogether. So, yeah, I'm gonna... You're not missing anything with that one. Cheers! Here's the time I'll never get back. Moving on across the pond. Me, I love international television, and this includes The Brits, yes. So there's a show that I just discovered. I'd seen it listed before, but I just discovered it, as in I just watched it. All five series. Now, you know, in the UK, they call series. That's our version of season. So this program is called In the Line of Duty. They say, follows DS Steve Arnott, that's Detective Sergeant, an authorized firearms officer who was transferred to the Anti-Corruption Unit 12 after, that's our version of internal affairs, after refusing to agree to cover up an unlawful shooting by his own team. 
Sour Patch Kids and Cherry Cola Worthy. Hmm, doesn't that sound ideal? Don't we wish that so many of our American officers were like that in real life? So anyways, um, that's their synopsis. What I will add to it, what makes it brilliant, is that this anti-corruption unit who every every series they focus on a different detective and their squad and trying to prove that they're dirty. But what ends up happening is a lot of times the detective kind of turns the tables on those that are investigating them. So you see this back and forth of both sides are equally doing things that they're not supposed to do. So there's dirt on both sides. So you never know how it's actually going to end at the end. Every season doesn't end the same way. The main character doesn't, uh, their, their fate doesn't end the same way. So it keeps you on your toes. And they're starting a series six, I think, uh, in January. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So if you ever uh, wanted to spruce up your watching uh, portfolio, Definitely hop over to Prime. Um, I subscribe to the Acorn channel and that's how I get in the line of duty. And you can look up where else you can find it. But it is definitely a cool show. Detective, if you like cop shows, if you like, um, you know, like Chicago PD or Law and Order or any of those types of cop, cop shows, it's that plus more drama because it's cops trying to prove non-stop the dirty cops and then the dirty cops or the accused allegedly dirty cops uh trying to you know get clear their name or cover their traps cover their ch or cover their tracks depending on the series okay and now for podcasts now you may have seen my instagram post and know that urban x podcast is a podcast that i thoroughly enjoy watching it's the number one father and son podcast don't ask me according to who however we're gonna roll with it black dot i knew of from the conscious community circa 2003 but i never really watched this stuff but i had heard of him and then his son who's in his late 20s was clearly was brought up right they both use what Dr. York, for those who know, called sound right reasoning. Um, you get a chance to watch their conversations and their viewpoints on today's trending topics, but you get in a different angle. So you're not, it's not like watching the news and it's not like listening to ignorant people just rumble on about things they don't really know, which we can all do. We're all ignorant of some things. but. It's um, it's the angle that they come from that makes it entertaining, plus their father and son, plus there's some comedic um, aspects to it. They make little skits and throw them in there, and they also advertise black businesses on every show. Quality programming, I toast thee. And what makes it even greater is the original purpose and how it developed, which is Urban X TV. The X stands for excellence. And so they feature an urban excellence story of the week, highlighting ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And I think this is very important, especially since, you know, when we hear the term black excellence, it's always attributed to people in the industry at the upper echelons of society who have a lot of money, a lot of pool, a lot of connections. But there are real people out here that are actually putting in real work and making real change in their community and I do agree that we need to salute them. So if you know people like that, buy it and buy. Go ahead and drop them a note. It's Urban X Podcast on YouTube. They also have a website and a blog. Urban X, you can just Google it and I'm sure you'll find everything. So thanks for watching Let's See with Leslie Olavisi and tune in for the next episode to get my takes on whether it's a film could be another series whatever I feel like my little two cents but I will try to constantly bring you at least one series that you probably have never heard of to introduce you to some new things let me let me upgrade you